Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and today we're going to be going over the new HB Tuners 3.0 scanner. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over some really basic features of how all of this works. So it's, we're going to start it with this toolbar at the top. So what we've got going on here, same basic stuff, open log file, we've got your save file as, uh, we've got close log file, very simple, right? We've got connect to vehicle, we've got disconnect from vehicle, we've got record, stop recording, we've got diagnostic and info. This is where you're going to find your trouble codes, uh, your check engine lights, things like that. Then we've got vehicle controls and special features. This is where you're going to be able to reset your fuel trims, command a gear hold, things along those lines. This is your playback log button. This is your uh, playback time. This is how the speed of which you're going to play back. Then you've got your plus and minus buttons here. This is going to zoom you in and out of your charts down here. Uh, so let's go over some stuff that's changed as things are called a little differently. So what this channels is over here is basically what your main table used to be. If you want to record anything anywhere else in here, like in your graphs or in your gauges or in your charts, you're going to need to first have it in your channels. So what's in here is basically your main table. Then you've got your gauges. This is the same setup as it was before. Very simple. Then you've got your graphs. Graphs is what your histograms used to be. Same basic principle here, just different name. Then you've got your chart versus time, and it's the same thing as before. It's your charts. This is where you view most of your data from. Okay, something I want to touch on really quickly is that HP Tuners has been kind enough to give us a really awesome feature, and that is that we can open uh, your old configs from 2.24 in this new 3.0 scanner. So what you can do is, is you can go up to Layout, and you can go to Open, Open Layout. So basically, they're not called configs anymore, they're called layouts. You have a couple different layouts that you can choose from. You can actually go in here and you can load some defaults, things like that, and that's actually what we have open at the moment. We, ha we have a default open, and this is the particular default we have at the moment. So what you can do is, is you can go up to Open Layout, and here we have our quick start config for scanner new. Anybody that's taken any of our courses or has done any of our live seminars is very familiar with this config. It's basically our starting config that we use here at the Tuning School, something you can build off of. So what I can do is I can click open, double click, and it's going to tell me that this layout has been imported from a 2.24 config file and it's been imported into the new 3.0, stuff like that. And it basically tells me that they did the best they could and that they tried to get as much information as they, in there as they were able to. So just click OK. And what you'll notice is the thing that it mostly changed is our graphs over here. So all of my histograms that were in my old 2.24 config file are now in my new 3.0 layout file. So it is a nice feature and if you have been doing a lot of work in the 2.24 stuff, it's something to keep in mind. All right, guys, now we're going to go into a little bit on how to customize all this stuff that you see here. So a lot of this kind of works the same way. The biggest difference, I think, in my opinion, is really this channel setup over here, is you can actually have different channel layouts for different vehicles, different stuff that you're trying to do. Um, you notice that from before, when we got our 2.24 config in here, it didn't necessarily change a whole lot that was going on over here. And actually, what you see here is these load SCE defaults. That's what this information is uh, that you're currently viewing. So you can see that you can open a channel config whenever you'd like to uh, as you go ahead and, and customize them to your liking. You can save them here. But what I want to show you and how to customize this is a really awesome feature that HP Tuners has added. So you can either add a channel by clicking this icon or you can right click anywhere inside of here, click add channel. Now, this is laid out basically the same way. You've broken up by engine, transmission, fuel system, everything like that. And you can go through here, try and find what you want to find, so on and so forth. Or the nice thing that they've done for us is that you can go up to here to text filter and you can pretty much type in anything that you want to find. So let's say I want engine coolant temperature. I can type in engine and I get engine coolant temperature. You can do this for virtually anything. So anything that you want to record, you can type in there and as long as it's lit, named the same as what you're trying to record, then you'll be able to find it. it. Makes setting that up much quicker, much easier. So let's move on to the gauges now. This works pretty much the same way. You can just right click, go to gauge layouts. This is very much like 2.24. You can select which gauge that you want to modify, so on and so forth. You can add gauges, delete them, uh, and things like that. So this is all very much kind of similar to the way 2.24 was. 
Uh, the same kind of goes for this charts here as well. You can right click chart layouts. Same type of thing. So it's done by grouping. You see it's group one, group two, group three, group four, group five. That's what you see here. Uh, you've got what you're recording inside of those. All the same kind of stuff. You click to insert it, so on and so forth. So this works very much the same way as 2.24 does. Uh, and honestly, same kind of goes for your graphs or what was histograms. You can right click in here and you can, well, it's like right click, click over here, graph layouts. Uh, same type of thing. We can add a graph, we can delete a graph. Uh, once you've added it, you can choose how you want it to be set up, how you want it to view. But if any of you were familiar with 2.24, then this look, should look fairly familiar to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned something from it. Keep an eye out for upcoming videos on more features with this new 3.0 scanner. And if you have any questions, feel free to always contact us at 727-264-8875. And don't forget to subscribe.